out here at Ozark Acres Farm. Uh, this afternoon is kind of the fill up the feed bucket today. So I've got uh, 300 pounds of chicken uh, crumbles here that we're gonna take down to the, to the lane chickens. And I've got bug feed for the pigs up here. You guys are loud. Anyway, we're gonna throw this barrel on and go down there and do that. And then we'll come back and get some pig feed and the blue barrels loaded up. So thank you. on so the sense is energized. So one of the reasons I'm doing this is I've got 300 pounds of feed. I haven't been tracking whether my egg layers are costing me money or making me money. Now we're in a pretty bad time of year right now and they I've got in here I've got about 20 layers and 20 pullets and out of those 20 layers I've only been getting about six eggs a day we had a cold snap here a couple weeks ago really cold and uh, ever since then they haven't been laying so but I do want to gauge it see where we are compared to summertime and all that also, I need to figure out how often I want to move them, and I'm thinking that I'm thinking that this will be my gauge to go through, see how much feed I go through. You know, if every 300 pounds and I move the chicken coop, something like that. So we'll see. Just trying to be resourceful, trying to be, uh, trying to make some money. See if he'll take it all. Woo! I'll have to get rid of some of that. Hey, I do have a question. Put a comment in the comment section below but what do you do with these you burn them you recycle them you trash them what do you guys do with your feed sacks all right i'll come back and feed these ladies in a little bit i can usually fill up uh, most of their feeders i got a, a piece of gutter here and i got a five gallon bucket that i feed them out of and then i've got another trash can up in the chicken coop so We'll do that, but now we're gonna go down. I'm gonna pick up some blue barrels. We're gonna go down to the feed gantry. I'm gonna dump some feed into that. And then I'll show you how I get that feed down <laughs> to the pig area uh, without a tractor. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So anyway, hang with us. good lids on them. That one down there still got some feed in it. I'll come back and get that later after I feed tonight. Um, we'll take these two and I got another one down here and uh, show you what we do to get it filled up. lack of a better term um, I got a uh, two-ton chain hoist two of them um, I hoist the bags off the truck or the trailer depends on if I get one or two they open from the bottom so what I do is I fill these barrels up and typically I've got my tractor here I move them with my tractor um, tractors in the shop so what I'll do today you'll see is I'll get my afternoon workout so uh, Stay with me, I'll show you how I do this and uh, show you a couple tricks that I learned. So first of all, um, I learned early on that once you untie this, you cannot tie it back if you got feet in there. So I've got two 
ropes with a bowling knot and loop uh, that I tie around the chute when I open it up. That way um, I can cut it off and stop the feed flow. So give me just a sec, I gotta get this untied. All right, so that's all the way I'm done. You can see that feed comes out pretty fast. But you can't control, you can't control it. Um, I have dumped quite a bit of this before. It's not fun. I try to get this as high as I can. You can see that's almost already full. And I'll fill it up pretty full. That's probably good. And then you can pull that, wrap it around, then I tie it back to here. And so far, this has worked to keep it shut. So, yeah. So this is about 250 pounds of feet, probably, be my guess. Uh, the whole bag's 2,000 pounds. But you got to make sure you get this ring on tight because i got to lay this barrel down. And uh, what you don't want to have is a lid knot on it. Ah, almost. They're kind of cantankers. Double check it. Ah. And don't get the string caught in it. Alright, try this again. By the way, this is about a 12% protein feed that I'm feeding. Um, it's made a, it's got soy and corn, sorghum some other stuff in it. Pigs really like it, so anyway. Alright, now that's on. Here's what I gotta do to get the feed down there so I don't have to walk up here every day. Twice a day. I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, I'm just gonna give you an idea of the workout that you get. So it keeps me fit and trim. <laughs> anyway, so like I said, we roll this sucker all the way down there. We just roll. I usually get about halfway and then I stop because as you can tell, I'm out of breath after that. So anyway, whoo, I'll fill the other, those two up, get that other one after I feed tonight, get them filled up. I probably will not roll all of them down at once. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's feed day on the farm. So. Woo. This is Chris, Ozark Acres. I appreciate you watching. Hey, if you would, click that subscribe button. Hit that alert bell so you get some notifications. I'm trying to get some more videos out to you. So, um, anyway, I'm out of breath. It's time to take a break, do some chores, and go relax. Thanks for watching and have a great day.